afternoon everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a proper Minecraft engine like this one here. This is a inline four cylinder. As you may see. This thing has valves and pistons. Um it will should have a lubrication system, but for the moment I have no lubrication system. So, how you do it? Take one lever, red alloy wire or red industrial wire, repeater, piston, sticky piston, any type of uh, engine block material you want. So let's turn it on. Oh, uh, timer. Set timer to 200. 0.200 of a second. Just hit minus 10s. Alright, uh, change the daytime. So, on. Oh, and I have these all time. This all time. So yeah, as you can see, as the valves up top here. Valves here. Let our exhaust. This one there in the middle. This one there in the middle. Yep. And they start going very quickly. There's an overhead cam here. One cell in the piston, one on the um, valve. Uh, same layout. Lever to the timer, red all I want it to repeater, red all I want it to piston, or the valve piston thing, red all I want it to this piston, so we turn it off. Induction compression power exhaust, induction compression power exhaust, induction compression power exhaust, induction compression power exhaust, induction compression power exhaust. So it's actually pretty easy to build this. So I'll build a two cylinder over here for you. For this step. First of all, take a piston, on, oh, you can have a flat, or a straight, I usually go for a straight, or power delivery, and just have one gap space, go to the repeater, repeater, and make sure they're facing that way, repeater, repeater, uh, repeater, repeater, sorry if I put the thumb down on there too guys, I am trying to build. So it's repeater, repeater. Timer. Lever. This is quite simple. Set that to any time you want. Pit repair level level lever. Come on speech today please would be nice. I use tin because that's uh, is 
the metal and the engine's arm you know. And the actual piston, because uh, I'm not gonna gold, so it's easy to see. The gold is the axle of piston, actually the pistons. I know these are called pistons, but they're like these are actually really the connecting rods in the crankshaft. So what to do is you start build up first. Can you see that okay? Yeah, right, good. So once you've done that. You can leave a hole there, I just, I just put it there for now. Alright, so build your crank case. Alright, so there's your crank case built. Now you want to go down to the piston. Or, well, which will be the valves. You need to try and get these flat. That's very important. I'll have one, uh, one exhaust. Alright. Can you see that okay? So, got the pistons flat. Um, now you want to just put all there. Is that repeated in the middle? Did Connect it over there. There you go. Oops, I almost forgot something. Timer. So, lever, take that away. Timer. Have to be facing this way. Timer on. Turn that to. So, as you can see, the engine is already running. Lever off. Peter on that stuff. How about that, eh? There you go. There you see, power stand. Hmm, that doesn't work now. The reason is. Balls are too low. So. Take them out because the pistons have to go one block. Okay, so I had to be starting a little uh, figuration of this. You have two in that, two exhaust, four in that, four exhaust, uh, just depends on what you want. Now I have your repeater down here. Wire connected up, and wire connected up. Alright, I think, oh, I have a second. No, that's wrong. You need to have Black, black, black. 
date, 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 date. No, it's only two cylinder. Alright, this should work now. Or sorry, will work now. So there you go. Two cylinder both engine with valves made and tagged. No problem, eh guys? So turn around.